All right, so in this video, I'm going to explain exactly what we use for a new student application or student intake form, whatever people join our program, um, the form that they're going to fill out so we have all their basic information and how we use that in our presentation for when people come to join our martial arts school. So I'm going to show you what questions we use, some options, and how you could use it too. And I'll, I'll explain like also why we use each question. So I mean, some of them are obvious, but some are not as obvious. So I'll explain why we use each question too. That way, um, you'll know how to uh, how to formulate your intake form as well. So first of all, just some pro tips. So we prefer to have students fill this out before they come into our school. So we'll send out a link for them to fill it out before uh, when they schedule their appointment. So when they schedule their appointment, we'll send a link, say, hey, here you go fill out your intake forms that way, or your new student application. Um, that way, when you come in, everything will be done and we can get started right away. And say, okay, cool. So you just be able to save some time. Uh, now, we prefer to prepay for trial. So we prefer to fill out this form and are able to pay for the trial in advance. Our trial is three lessons and a uniform for $49. But if you're doing a free trial, that's okay too. Um, you can ignore this, but if you're doing a paid trial, we highly recommend having to pay for in advance. They're way more likely to show up if they pay for in advance um, and to actually you know, take advantage of it. So the next thing is we process our applications through our CRM. Um, you can always do a paper application. If like, hey, it's simpler and easier for you, you're not a technology person, just print this, these questions out on a, on a one, one page Word document and have them fill it out. Not too difficult. If you have a CRM, you use like a software, like, um, like uh, Zen Planner or Studio Boss or Rainmaker or Spark or whatever you use, I would make sure that those these questions are in that application. Okay, they probably have some built-in questions in there that are pretty good or pretty close to this too. So next thing is actually look at the application before they come in. So before they come in for their first class or lesson, look at the application so you understand who they are. Take a moment, take a deep breath, read the application, say, okay, this is a human coming in, not just a person that I want them to sign up for my school so I can make more money. But I actually take a, a, a second to look at the application and glance over it um, and, and, and take the time to think, okay, what does this person actually want? How can I help them get whatever they want? Okay. And the last part is review the application with them to make sure it's correct. So I'll just go over it, like make sure it's correct. Sometimes they'll put like their child's name, but their own birthday. So it'll say their you know, they're just in martial arts for the kids' classes, but they're 57 years old. Okay, so make sure that it, it seems correct. Um, like, look it over if any typos or whatever reason. You want to make sure you get that correct when they come in. Um, and you'll be able to use the answer in your lesson. So let's say during the lesson, as it's a kid's lesson and they're interested in focus, I would talk about focus during their lesson. But but before, uh, but during the uh, when they first come in and after while you have some rapport with them, you can say like, "Hey, I saw in the application you wrote uh, focus. Can you tell me a little bit more about that?" And whenever they say I like the reason why they want that, I would use that as an example in their lesson or in their first class. Like whatever thing they want, they say they say they want. Use that in their lesson. Use that in their class. They're telling you what you want. Give them what they want. Okay? Don't just say, oh, "I'll give that to you later." Give it to them then. All right. So here's a list of the questions we use. Pretty simple information at the beginning. First name, last name, date of birth, gender identity. If you want to do male, female, I don't know. There's obviously like a lot of controversy going to this one. So tread lightly. I guess it depends on the city or town you're in. Do whatever you want with that. Um, I think we have like male, female, unidentified, uh, for not to say. I think it's our, our, um, our options on here. Date of birth, email address. This is, by the way, for the student. That goes in here. So I don't want the parent, if it's like a child, I don't want the parent's birthday. If it's an adult, obviously they'll fill this out for themselves. Uh, if it's an adult, obviously I wouldn't have the parent one, sell, parent two, sell. Uh, and uh, I would just have, you know, <laughs> what, what is your cell or your cell number, something like that. Uh, how did you find out about us? What is the number one reason you wanted to get involved with martial arts? Okay, because you're going to use that later. Are you a member of the PTO, PTA, or Home and School Association? So this one um, is really good for when we do school programs. So I know who's a member, so I can best help them. So I'll look back later into the applications to see who is a member. Uh, if you use an online CRM software, you should be able to categorize any answers by yes or no. Um, uh, and, and get just like people who, like you should be able to create a report of just people who are on a member of the PTO or PTS. So once again, this is really good if you're a, a martial arts school focused on kids. If not, you're more adults, probably 
not necessary. Okay. Um, this one we love networking with our uh, action families. If you have your school name here, uh, what is your occupation? Um, and I'll say parent two occupation. Okay. Now the reason why we have parent one and parent two and not mom and dad, well, you might do two moms, two dads, whatever. So we put parent one, parent two, and I also if they. The reason why this is good is we'll find out if it's a two parent household or one parent household without um, uh, um, without directly asking that, like, hey, are you single? <laughs> right? Instead, we'll say parent one cell and parent two cell. If they write not applicable, well, now I know it's a, it's, it's, um, it's a single parent household. Or I'll ask, oh, so in here, you, you were parent two cell, uh, not applicable. Can you tell me more about that? And they say, oh, yeah, uh, I'm not with his father anymore. He lives in blah, 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 state away. And then you know, okay, cool. So to have the the just the one parent there is the one that's gonna be the decision maker. Okay, so you just lets you know parent one cell and parent two cell in a subtle way if it's a single parent or two parent home. Okay. And then over here it asks a little bit more directly if both parents are in the same household, if it's a two parent household. So yes, no, not applicable. Okay, this one's also I'd say a little bit more optional. Um and occupation as well, right? So once again, if something, something doesn't apply, it's right not applicable. Uh, and then what is your profile name on Facebook? So we accept you in our private VIP group. So when they join, we'll make sure that they, uh, we tag them, whatever their Facebook name is, in the welcome post. And this helps us find their names. Their name on Facebook might be different than um, what it is in real life. Or uh, So we wanna know what that Facebook name is exactly so we can tag them in it. The welcome post and so we can like welcome them to the crew. We'll talk more in a different video about how to have a welcome post for a new member when they join. So these are some optional questions we've used in the past. Um, basically one about like, hey, is this in your budget for martial arts training? How much your martial arts training is a week or a month or whatever? When are you looking to get started? Are you interested in training for anyone else in your family? Martial arts will be challenging way yes instructor for community assistance. So these obviously uh, increase the length of the application. I want it to be as quick and as easy as possible. So we've kind of taken them out over time, but I think nothing wrong with using nothing, nothing terribly wrong with using them. I think they're totally okay. Or if there's something that you think you need to know in order to do better with um, uh, with the application, then um, then obviously put that in here. So uh, as I'm reading this right now, I realize I left out a question. Do you have any allergies or um, or injuries we should know about. Please explain below if the answer is yes. Okay, cool. I didn't get that. All right, so please explain below if the answer is yes. Um, if they have any allergies or injuries or something like that, we want to know about that too. Anyway, this is it. If you have any questions about how to do new student application or questions about it, you can email me at matthew at wdojo.com. Hit me up on Instagram at blackbellbrenner1 or on Facebook, Matthew Brenner. All right, talk soon. Good luck. Bye.